The president of the World Bank has warned that the spread of Ebola is threatening the future of Africa. Jim Yong Kim made the comments during a meeting in Washington, D.C. Shihab Ratansi reports. It was a warning that went beyond much of what had already been said. Ladies and gentlemen, unless we quickly contain and stop the Ebola epidemic, uh, nothing less than the future of not only West Africa, but perhaps even Africa, is at stake. Those international governments and organizations present were quick to pledge help. Even the IMF said it was ready to forget its usual rules. It is good to increase the fiscal deficit when it's a matter of curing the people, of taking the precautions to actually try to contain the disease. The IMF doesn't say that very often. That seemed to come as a surprise to the president of Guinea. The president of the IMF, managing director, said that we need help and we can increase our deficit, which is quite a change from the usual narrative. It's a fundamental point. Some say holding the meeting here was bitterly ironic because both the World Bank and the IMF bear responsibility for Ebola's rapid rise. The IMF, because its economic orthodoxy prevents governments from spending on healthcare infrastructure. The World Bank, because it concentrates on privatized development and not public healthcare facilities. For example, Oxfam studied the World Bank's $1 billion Health in Africa initiative. It wasn't happy with what it found. Unfortunately, there's some parts of the World Bank, the International Finance, the Finance Corporation, which is the private sector lending arm of the bank, has been investing in private hospitals and clinics that are broadly serving the wealthy in Africa and not reaching the poor. And we want to see less of that type of investment and more investments in strong public health systems that can reach all people, especially the poorest people. Oxfam says forcing countries to limit spending and privatize healthcare gives them little chance against Ebola. The World Bank's chief economist for Africa, though, says policy has changed. I put Oxfam's findings to him. I certainly hope we were not financing those. So that's the IFC not... was, the International Finance Corporation. The IFC, it may be. Then you'd have to ask a colleague from the IFC. That's but the financing we're... corporation of the World Bank, isn't it? Yes, it is. But at the World Bank, what we try to do is to reduce poverty. The World Bank has called for a $20 billion global health fund to deal with emergencies like the Ebola outbreak. But even the officials present at this meeting have admitted that if just a fraction of that money had been spent on long-term public health infrastructure, many lives would have been saved. Shihabertansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.